Welcome to the Walter Academy and this how-to video for the Surfox 206. We're going to take a look at some of the features of this Surfox machine, as well as some best practices. Are you ready? Let's get started. Once you have plugged in the machine, turn the switch to the on position. With a new machine, purging the reservoir is an important first step. Fill the reservoir with the electrolyte solution of your choice, and then hold the off button on the wand. It will begin to dispense liquid automatically. Once the colored liquid has completely dispensed, release the off button, and now you're ready to go to work. Before you can start using your Surfox machine, you must attach the ground clamp. It is easy to do so by matching the ground clamp to the ground port on the front of the machine. The new Surfox machines are equipped with an easy to read LCD screen. To choose your language, hold the plus and minus button for three seconds. You'll be prompted to enter a pin, and the factory pin is 0000. Now you've entered the language selection. Once you've selected your language, you can go back to the menu screen. This Surfox machine has several different pump settings to choose from. Use the set button on the LCD screen to cycle through to the pump settings. Then use the plus and minus button to choose the pump setting of your choice either dynamic flow, automatic 1 to 8, or manual pump. Dynamic flow is the smart pump setting of the new Surfox machines. It will ensure to dispense only the optimal amount of electrolyte solution based on the power settings and current intensity. It will help you optimize your electrolyte solution and reduce messes. Ensure that your Surfox accessories are thoroughly saturated with electrolyte solution before engaging dynamic pump mode. This will prevent unexpected burning of the accessories and will also ensure that the dynamic pump engages correctly. Cycling through the various functions of the Surfox machine is very easy. Use the mode button on the LCD screen to choose between pickling with a brush or with a pad, polishing with a brush or with a pad, or marking or etching function. To adjust the main power level, which will vary based on application, you do so by selecting the set button after choosing the pump settings. And then you'll be able to select between low, medium, or high output power. You can also make micro adjustments within each setting by using the plus or minus button to adjust the voltage. Carbon fiber brushes should never be used over 18 volts. The Surfox machine is equipped with a unique fume dispersion system requiring only a shop air connection. Simply connect the shop air hose of a max PSI of 125 to the back of the machine and a gentle flow of air will be emitted from the end of the Surfox wand, ensuring that any non-toxic fumes created during the process will be blown away from the operator. The Surfox 206 is compatible with a wide variety of accessories designed specifically for this Surfox machine. The Surfox 206 has a 4 meter long flow through wand equipped with the dynamic flow pump technology. When installing the flow through accessories on the wand of the Surfox 206, ensure to align the tube with the contact tip of the wand. Use the Allen key provided to tighten the set screws of the contact tip if needed. When the carbon fibers have worn down over time, you can snap off the removable rings on the trimmable carbon fiber brush. A pro tip is to use two needle nose pliers to properly snap off one ring at a time, exposing enough carbon fibers to continue working with optimal conductivity and flexibility. The Surfox 206 is also capable of permanently marking and etching a wide variety of metals. Have a look at our dedicated marking and etching video to learn more about this function. The process to follow for proper passivation is simple, but ensure to follow the steps to properly comply with ASTM 967. When you have finished cleaning the weld, wipe away any excess electrolyte solution with a dedicated acid rag. Then, spray the surface thoroughly with Surfox N neutralizing solution. When you have finished, wipe away the excess with a dedicated neutralizer rag. Be sure not to use the same rag for both processes as this can compromise the passivation process and lead to staining on the material.
After use, the best way to care for and maintain your Surfox accessories is to thoroughly clean and neutralize accessories and the wand. This will guarantee maximum life. If using the conductive pads, it is recommended to dispose of them after use as they are not intended to be reusable. When finished working, turn the machine off and unplug the ground cable. To properly care for your carbon fiber brushes, it is recommended to disconnect them from the wand and place them in a container of Surfox N neutralizing solution overnight. Also, thoroughly spray the contact tip and wand with Surfox N neutralizing solution and then dry it with a dedicated neutralizer rag. This will ensure there is no residual electrolyte solution left over to prevent any future contamination. Now you've seen just how easy it is to get set up and working with your new Surfox machine. If you have any questions or want to learn more about other great products that Walter has to offer, reach out to your local territory manager.